This is lesson 14.5, the law of cosines. In this lesson, we will be using the law of cosines to solve some more problems. Okay, so in this example, we have a triangle ABC. So we'll just um, make it look like that since we don't know much about it. Angle A is a 45 degree angle. Side B would be across from angle B is 6.2. And side C would be across from angle C and that's 7.8. We are trying to find the measure of angle B. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, so to find that angle there, um, we could use, well, if we use the law of cosines, which we can do because we have two sides in the included angle, the only thing we're going to be able to find is side A. So we're going to have to do that because that's really our only option at this point. So we're going to say a squared equals 6.2 squared plus 7.8 squared minus 2 times 6.2 and 7.8 times the cosine of angle A. If we enter this into our calculator, we get a squared equals 30.9. And then taking the square root, we find that a is 5.6. So this side over here is 5.6, making it the smallest angle. Now that we have all three sides of our triangle, we could use the law of cosines to find angle B, or we could use the law of sines, which is actually easier. So we're going to use the law of sines. So the sine of 45 degrees over its side opposite, 5.6, is equal to the sine of angle B, over its side opposite, which is 6.2. Multiplying both sides by 6.2 gives us the sine of B is equal to 0.78. And the inverse sine gives us B. Inverse sine of 0.78 gives us 51.5. So this angle B is 51.5 degrees. Using um, the fact that there are 180 degrees in a triangle, we can easily determine that angle C is 83.5 degrees. And looking at a triangle, this would make sense because the smallest angle should be across from the smallest side. And the largest angle is across from the largest side. This is an example exactly like the last one, so if you prefer not to watch this example, that's fine. But in this one, we have triangle RST. Side S is 41, side T is 53, and angle R is 126 degrees. We want to find the measure of angle T. So we could use the law of sines if we knew the measure of angle T and its side opposite or the measure of R and its side opposite, we don't. So we have to use the law of cosines to find the side R. So we have to do that first. So R squared is going to be equal to the other two sides squared minus the other two sides times 2 times the cosine of R. And we will calculate this. And we get r squared equals 7044.5. So we take the square root of that and we get r equals 83.9. This should make sense that this side is the longest side because it's across from an obtuse angle of 126 degrees. Okay, then we can find angle t, which is what we were asked for by doing the law of sines. Or, since I did that in the last example, we could do the law of cosines to find angle T. Since we want to find angle T, we're going to end up with cosine of T here, which means on the left side of the equation, we're going to have side T squared. And then we want to take our other two sides and square them and subtract two times those other two sides.
and we're calculating for t. So first thing we do is mo um, square 53, square 41, square 83.9, And we'll multiply 2 times 41 times 83.9. Okay, solving for t, we can take our 2,809, subtract 1681, and subtract 7,039.21. So that gives us negative 5911.21 equals negative 6879.8 cosine t. To solve for cosine t, we have to divide by 6879.8. And that gives us cosine t is equal to 0.8592. Doing the inverse cosine, we find that angle t is 30.8 degrees. Okay, so if there are 180 degrees in a triangle and we have 30.8 degrees in angle T and 126 degrees in angle R, that leaves us with 23.2 degrees in angle S and this would make sense because the smallest angle is across from the smallest side. That's it for Lesson 14.4.